Hey everyone, while I am by no means a fan of a capsule collection for your wardrobe, I think if you know me by now, you know that I don't want to say that I am a fan of excess, but I'm a fan of having options. Be that as it may, even though I have a closet full of options and then a second closet full of options that is also spilled into my older son's bedroom onto clothing racks, I do tend to gravitate toward the same pieces over and over and over. So today I thought I'd do a very basic video and share with you the very basic pieces I wear on repeat throughout the summer months or the warm weather months, depending on where you are. That means for me like April through October with some subtle variations. Now I'm going to provide you with actual pieces that will have links if you don't already own these, but don't feel like you have to run out and buy all of this stuff. Go ahead and go look through your closet and see what you have that's very similar. You may already have some identical pieces. I will offer you a few options at different price points, most of which honestly are from Amazon and Walmart with a few higher end pieces thrown in because that's how I dress. All right, let's start with my most worn summer basic and that is a pair of linen pants. I am not a shorts person and I'm gonna make zero apologies for it. Now, linen pants, there's lots of options. For me, I have three silhouettes or styles that I wear the most. The most absolute worn is the jogger style. I feel like it's a little more slimming, it's more tapered, there's less voluminous fabric, and it's a little more versatile. So those are the most worn piece I have. And I have two joggers that I wear constantly. The first one and the one I've had the longest are the Caslon linen joggers. These are the more budget friendly option right now. They're just under $60. If you can find me a great pair that aren't see-through for less, let me know in the comments. I love when you guys find vines for me. Happy to give credit where credit is due, so share below if you know of some. But um, these, I feel, are worth the price because one, I've had some of these for multiple years. They get washed every single week. They still hold up. They still look brand new. They do run on the larger side. So the pair that I'm wearing are a size small because right now I used to be like a 2.4, now I'm more like a 4.6. So I'm wearing a size small, there's plenty of room. I did make the mistake in these of ordering them in a petite length. And while Caslon generally runs on the bigger side, I don't like a crop length on my joggers and these are riding up a little bit. So if you are 5.4 or taller, go ahead and get the regular length joggers. If you're under 5'4", five, like 5'3", five, at least, at the most, I should say, I think you'd be fine getting the petite length. The other option, not as budget friendly, although I think they're on sale, so that might not be correct. And these are the ones from Athleta. These are newer to me. They are fantastic. The, they show wrinkles, I'd say, a little bit less. The material isn't as thin, but it still is lightweight. It has a more casual vibe to it because it has the zippers on the pockets and they do come in a variety of colors, not as many varieties as the Castellan Linen Jogger, but still it's good to have options. These are fantastic. These are my road trip pants for summertime. So those are the Linen Jogger options. Now the next one up, it's a little tricky and that is a straight leg version and I have two options for you. One, and well, they're both pretty budget friendly. The first one is definitely a straight leg. These are from Free Assembly. They aren't full on wide leg, but there is a, I feel like a little more material than a traditional straight leg cut. They're very flowy. They come in four colors. Uh, I'm gonna talk about this more when I get to the tops portion, but as my pants get more voluminous, I like to make the tops a little more fitted. Even though when it's super, super hot, the most amazing thing to lounge around in or walk around in is a really loose top and really loose wide leg pants, it's not the most figure flattering. So as I go with more material on the bottom, I like to go a little tighter on the top. So the Walmart ones are very much straight leg. They are long enough that I can wear them with some sort of heel and they're not too short, I, but they're short enough that at five foot four, I can wear them with flats and they don't drag on the ground either. And they do come in four colors. The other option is technically a straight leg, but it has a little bit of a taper at the bottom. These are a little more formal. Formal is stretching it with linen, but these are a little more formal than the previous versions I've shared with you. These are from Amazon, not as many color choices. The linen on these is not as soft as the other options, 
but they do hold their shape a little bit nicer. I actually wore these in Mexico. It was quite hot there and they, they felt great. And I like the slightly tapered, they're, they're sort of in between a jogger and a true straight leg. They're sort of a happy medium between the two. The next option, of course, are wide leg linen pants. These are probably the easiest to find. They're everywhere. And I have two options for you. The first is a cropped length. And these are technically pricier. They are on sale. I hope they're still available. Um, I have them in this bright orange poppy color, which is really fun. Um, if you want to less of a statement get the same ones i believe they come in black and several other more muted colors but they feel a little more formal it's almost like wearing a skirt because there is that loose flowy fabric i like a cropped length with a bit of a heel i feel like if you wear cropped pants and then a flat unless you're very tall and very long leg it just cuts you off and it, it doesn't elongate the body and, and thin you out which is what I'm shooting for when I get dressed. So I prefer to wear cropped pretty much anything with a bit of a heel. Now this next pair is from Walmart. I have, I can't even tell you how many of these I have. Basically Walmart comes out with new wide leg linen pants every season and I buy them every season. They do run really big. I'm wearing these in an extra small, believe it or not. There's a ton of fabric, but does have a nice drawstring waist. So you can definitely tighten that waist and I will admit, when it is uber, uber hot, like over 100 degrees, the humidity has climbed up and I wanna leave the house, which I don't, but if I have to leave the house, I do like to wear it with a looser fitting top, but it's not particularly flattering. So ideally, I would wear a much, almost like a bodysuit tank or really close fitting tee on the top and let the, the flowy fabric do its thing on the bottom. My favorite close fitting tank of the season, I'm not wearing it because it's, in my hamper because I wear it all the time are the Athleta tanks um, they can be worn to work out but I don't wear them I just I wear them to walk around like clothing normal clothing non-workout clothing is how I should put it but they do work double duty so if you're going for that capsule collection uh, there you go the other reason why I am not as eager to recommend the Athleta version is because they are definitely a racer back and you can't wear your regular bra like you know like a standard straight up and down strap so if you if racer back, backs annoy you, avoid the Athleta tanks. I think they're worth it. They are not a true compression, like a Spanx tank top, but they do give some support and smooth everything too. So I love them. All right, since we're already talking about tops, let's move into tops. So my most worn tops for the summer are generally sleeveless tops. This one is actually a jumper that I haven't shared yet. It's coming, so but I'll link it below if you want a sneak peek. But the basic tops that I wear the most. Doesn't mean I'm photographed in them the most, but the ones that I wear the most on a day-to-day -day basis are some sort of sleeveless top, and there's two that I recommend. The first is a pair of tank tops. They're from Amazon Basics. You can get them in multitude of combinations. I just ordered two, no, what did I get? One black and one white. But you can get two white, two black, black and gray, all kinds of patterns, mix and match, very, very budget-friendly. They're a nice slim fitting tank and slimmer straps, but as you can see, I'm wearing my regular Soma Endless Bra. You cannot see the straps. So you don't have to get a special bra to wear it. I love it. They're cotton, they wash well, they wear well, run true to size, I'm wearing them in a size small. If they don't stay as white as you'd like, check it and get some new ones. I mean, they're just, they're fantastic. The other sleeveless top option that I wear the most, a little, less fitted, newer to me, but possibly even more budget friendly, are the sleeveless V-neck tanks, or tops really, from Walmart. They're very soft. I think they're on sale for six or seven dollars, and I bought them in four, five shades. They're great. They're fitted enough, you can tuck them in, but you can also just do a little slight tuck or just bunch it around your waist a little bit if you want a little more definition. You have a nice high, armhole so you can wear a regular bra. I love, it's very similar to this cut actually. I love the, it's really not a tank, it's more like a sleeveless tee. So it has wider up here, again with the bra. And personally, if you are busty or trying to look slimmer, a V-neck is more flattering than a higher round neck or crew neck, so I prefer the V-neck on these. Third item on the list is probably the most worn other than linen joggers, and that is a flowy, dress. Like I said, I'm not a shorts person, but I do like air circulation. And honestly, you're going to be much cooler in a dress than you are in shorts. And 
especially if you do it like a short dress, but I am not a short dress kind of girl. I like a longer flowy one, and there are two that are the standouts. The first one I've been talking about quite a bit lately, and it's this tank dress from Athleta, and it's a little on the pricier side, but you're gonna wear it over and over and over. It runs super big, size down, I'm wearing extra small, it goes all the way down to extra, extra small, it has pockets. The fabric is moisture wicking, quick drying, UPF 50. It's just fantastic. If it's too billowy and too much for you, put a little belt around it. Or as things cool down, you can throw a denim jacket or tie a little button down blouse over it. It's so versatile. It makes a great swimsuit cover up. I just wear mine every day. It's fantastic. The other option on dresses, long and flowy, must have pockets. I need to, I hope they're still on the website. Chico's came out with this in midwinter, and then they released them even more color. So I have two of them in a true royal blue and that corally pink shade. They're very gauzy. They're very lightweight. The sleeves do roll up. The buttons are functional in the front. It has pockets. It's not lined. It's flowy. Again, I wore the blue one in Mexico in a jungle. Didn't get hot. I mean, no more than anybody else. It's, it's hot in a jungle. It, they're just fantastic. So anything gauzy and lightweight and flowy, there's tons and tons of Amazon options, but when it comes down to it, my most worn are that Athleta Presidio dress and the Chico's gauzy dress. Now we have to talk shoes. If you know me, you know I tend to buy a lot of shoes and then I only wear one or two pairs every season. And the standout for this season started with these braided sandals and I still do wear them a lot. These are from Dolce Vita, they're the Paley's, these are the originals, these are actually two years old or a year old, they're, I think I got them last year. I didn't get them this year, I know that. And I still do love them. But what I really love even more is the Walmart version because it's very similar, except it's even, the straps are even softer and smooshier. There's a memory foam and the insole and the heel is just a teeny bit shorter. The problem is these are pretty much sold out and I do reach for the Dolce Vita ones when I want a true nude color. Well, I just put in the order before I sat down to film this, so I can't tell you if they're as comfortable as I hope they are, but based on reviews, I think so. I found ones that look like this on Amazon. So they're Amazon price. They're a little more expensive than the, these are 14 bucks, but I think they're around, I wanna say $40. They're, they look fantastic and they have so many color options in the skin tone family, in the neutrals. So they, I feel, are very much more lookalikes for the original Dolce Vita ones. So basically, these are the shoes of the season for me. And then lastly, if I'm being totally honest, which I always am, I just don't necessarily share all the things. My most worn outfit of the season are these cotton poplin pajamas. Yes, you heard me right. Full on pajama pants and a long sleeve button down pajama top. The key here is that they are not just cotton pajamas, they are cotton poplin pajamas. And if you've been watching for a while, you know I have loved and still love my Soma Cool Nights PJs, but they're made out of some sort of synthetic blend. And at the end of the day, these keep me cooler. It makes no sense, but I have two pairs of them and they, they're basically, I'm alternating every night. I have another pair in a sort of a pink light plaid and I just go back and forth and swap these out. These are fantastic. They're also great for when you're self tanning and you sleep in your tan because they're long sleeved in pants that doesn't get the tan all over your bed sheets. You just wash these. Now, if you like perfectly crisp, no wrinkled PJs, you're gonna be disappointed because as you can see by the collar, I think you can see the collar sort of wrinkles up in the wash. I'm not ironing my pajamas, like no. Now when I first got these, they were under $50. The prices jumped even on Amazon to I think between 60 and $70. However, I have tried to find other cotton true poplin pajamas. A lot of influencers that I know and trust rave about the print fresh ones. I will admit the patterns look outstanding. They're cut more for a women's figure. They are on my wish list. I might splurge and get some. They're almost $150. I'm gonna keep looking if I find some more budget friendly. I found one pair on Amazon, but the reviews were mm. So I'm gonna keep searching and if I find one before this video goes up, check the description box and um, I'll let you know. But if you can get your hands on cotton poplin pajamas, you're welcome. You will thank me, you will live in them. 
it will be hard to justify getting dressed in the morning. The most worn thing, I should say, of the summer though, is this guy, sunscreen. I get asked in almost every video, what sunscreen do I use? I wear this whether I leave the house or not on my face. It's the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen SPF 40. Goes on and feels like a makeup primer. It's a mineral sunscreen. I say that, but I'm not entirely sure. Nope, it's a chemical sunscreen. It's a chemical sunscreen. Uh, there's an alleged dupe for this at Trader Joe's. Very exciting, I haven't tried it. I tried the Kroger dupe, hated it. It smelled terrible, it was super greasy. Uh, and the ingredients did not line up. I've heard good things about the Trader Joe's one though. Um, this one is being featured in the Nordstrom anniversary sale and a trio. So if you can hold off a few days, if you want to snag this, love this on my body for like daily, just out and about. It's this one from Eucerin. It's their daily hydration cream SPF 30. Clearly, I mean, I'm not getting any color, so it's working. And then if I'm gonna be out and floating around on my pool floaty, it's still the super goop on my face. But for my body, I recently repurchased this. I've talked about this almost at the very beginning of my channel. That's how long I've been loving this. It's the Hawaiian Tropic Sheer Touch Ultra Radiance Reef Friendly uh, SPF 50, UVA, UVB broad spectrum, SPF 50. And it works fantastically. Feels more like you're just putting on moisturizer. Has a nice scent. It doesn't leave you with that weird SPF filmy feeling. So I love those. So that's basically what I've been living in the last few months, what I'll probably continue to be living in for the next few months until we get a little tiny peak of fall here in South Texas, somewhere around late October, early November is my guess. Thanks for hanging out. Hope you are staying cool. Let me know what your go-to pieces are for summer down in the comments and I'll see you in the next video, which is gonna be Nordstrom Tryon. See you then, bye.